What's up everybody and welcome to the workshop synth production mod by Kensington. So this is a really cool freaking mod uh, as you may or may not be able to guess from the little intro. What you could do with this is create synths as settlers. So as you can see this is the guy I just created right here. So that is me. Yeah. So you uh, basically oh okay so he fell down but yeah so my name's Jason that's why his name is Jason. But uh, yeah so basically the way this mod works works is first and foremost you're gonna have to uh i don't know when they get out they kind of glitch around but uh just wanted to trade a few things i'll sh try and show you right now yeah now he is just literally a settler so if i go into q and hit move and i sign him to somewhere right now i am at oh i can't sign him to where i am but i could go sign him to the red uh red rock red rocket workshop or truck shop uh, and he'll go there now as a settler so really cool but again so what i was saying is basically the way this mod works is you're going to have to get a synth creation schematic thing and you're going to find this in the robotics department in the institute so obviously if for whatever reason reason at some point the institute is no longer there it'll still be near the institute i'm not going to show you guys how to do that because i've never done any of the questing so i just spawned it in myself but i'm sure that'll be an experience in itself so once you actually find that schematic and get it you're going to unlock the ability to build the synth fabricator and as you can see it requires 50 power so where is the synth fabricator and that is going to be actually in kind of a weird spot it's under power miscellaneous so as you can see right here well i just got a massive amount of lag but that is because that is the synth fabricator so as you can see it is a really big thing and as you can see it's pretty expensive so you can check all the uh the different requirements over there whoops and uh yeah so definitely not the cheapest thing in the world but i'm sure for our late game fellows even though i'm spawned everything in in god mode but still it is going to be attainable so once you get this thing and uh you get your settlers basically what you could do with it is you're gonna have to set it all up so again it requires 50 power so you're gonna have to set up some power python or pylons not pythons and uh, set up a switch and all that and connect it to a terminal so once you do all of that stuff you still can't actually create any synths you're gonna require some stuff to do that so what you need to create a synth is well 12 bones so bones are available in the vanilla game that's not added by the mod or anything like that but you're also going to need two other things so once you go into here you're going to see if we go down to utility we have two new things you're going to need a new synth component so every synth you create is going to require one synth component or one new synth component and then six synth cell cultures so you're going to require six of these and as you can see they have relatively lowly uh like they're not super expensive not hard to make and all that so we also do have a body scanner so i'm going to go over this a little later in the video but basically this is a weapon added by the mod and it allows you to like you could go and scan somebody and it, you could now create them as a synth so once you install all that stuff into the workshop which is over there and this particular one you're gonna be able to go up to the terminal you did hook up and start making synths. so as you can see now we have this option synth fabrication system and adequate on everything so this is only going to occur when obviously you have the proper supplies deposited in the workshop you can't have them on you you can only install them in the workshop and then you're going to go to you have two options manufacture synth single or manufacture synth production run so basically what this means is you have two options here well obviously but you can make a single synth or you could do a production run and what a production run means is basically it'll just continuously produce synths until you have no more so the two options i have right now are nora and jason so this is myself as the male protagonist and the female protagonist you can also create here and these are both available by default so then once you do this it's actually kind of a weird glitch right here you have to hold tab um to do that and uh, that's the switch control but to get out of that you have to ha actually hold tab you can't tap tab or anything so that's a little weird it, it does eventually kick you out if you sit in long enough but now as you can see the animation will begin and uh, you basically are just going to start creating sense so that is how that works it is all fully animated which looks absolutely amazing but i'm sure if you guys download this mod you'll spend some time looking at it i'll, I'll try and show you the whole process here from start to finish it's relatively long and uh, again i'm only doing one synth and I, did i do nora i don't know this is this is jason he He's falling down a bunch of times, but yes. So as you can see, once you get over here, he'll start uh, doing the thing where you try and revive the body. As you can see, it is kind of like the muscle groups over here. And then he'll place down one over here, which is like the skeleton of the synth, as you can see. So it is a really cool process, and it does look really good. And I just got hit by that thing. But uh, then they're going to post, or 
post. They're going to place both of these into the vat in the middle and you get that. And also when this starts, all these little things on the side do close as well, which is really cool. So these things were open before and now they are all closed. So as you can see, it did get placed in there and it starts making that like bubbling noise. And then as you can see, out comes Nora and she is going to be a synth settler for us to use along with Jason. So it's a really cool freaking mod. It works so well and the animations look absolutely amazing. And as you can see now, it'll take the thing out and reset and then it takes a second and then you could go back to creating more or you could, if you have it on a production run, it'll just continue to produce until you run out of materials. We did head over to Sanctuary and we're going to try out the, what is this thing called again? The synth or the body scanner, the synth fabricator is the other thing. And basically, so when you, what, how this works is you're gonna shoot someone, and then when you do that, you see you have eight different slots in here for you to store their data. And yeah, so these are, there's female and male sets. So you have eight for male, eight for female. Obviously right now we are scanning a female, and we can put her in slot two. So now we, when we go back to the synth fabricator, we'll be able to craft both of these guys. So as you can see, now we have the male, so you can put him in slot two, and uh, let's go see you. Everyone obviously is gonna wanna see Preston as like nine million cents, so I'll find him, and then we'll start mass producing a Preston army. So now back at the uh, whatever settlement this is called, we can go back and use some of the people we did scan. So as you can see, I'm going to do a production run here and then we have all the people I just scanned. So before we only had Nora and Jason, obviously. So now we have Mama Murphy, Sturges and Preston Gravy. So we're going to use Preston Gate Gravy now and uh, we're going to set him on a production run and let the army of Preston Gravies start to commence or a mass, not commence, but still. Yeah. So as you can see, the first Preston is coming off of the, uh, well, whatever, out of the hot tub thing in the middle, and uh, we do have him right here. He is going to use the exact same, oh, oh, oh god, okay, Preston, easy there, buddy. So we did fall over again, as you can see, now it's going to clean it up, and as I did set this on a production run, it is going to start the process over again, as long as we have enough materials, which I did make sure we have plenty of materials in there, I have like a thousand of everything, so we should be absolutely fine, but now, yeah, as you can see, it's gonna do its thing over here and just continue the process so we're gonna continue we're gonna let this run for a little while and uh, we're gonna see exactly how many Prestons we could get oh okay Preston So that was like a good 25 minutes of just Preston gravy wonderfulness. So as you can see, we have a few, whoops, uh, we have a few up there and uh, I think all the ones have been just like falling down as you can see. I don't know how many we made exactly. I, I would guess about maybe 10 to 15. As you can see, the thing takes quite a while. So I'm sure if you leave it on like over a long period of time, it would be pretty cool. But yes, so we do have quite a few Prestons around now. Well, actually the whole settlement is made up of Preston. So actually, except like there's one or two non so we have 18 people here so i would say there's about 16 prestons here as you can see some are taking a drink some are wandering over here and the rest are on that little platform i built but that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video as always i thank you guys for watching big shout out to kennington kentington because i think he's one of the underrated mod authors out there he has a real a lot of really cool mods and uh, this being one of them Birda drones being another one that i feel like a lot of people overlooked but nonetheless i thank you for watching i do hope you enjoyed and it's time to end the Preston Joy.